Okay, I'm about to show you guys um, the repair I actually did on a Stella Yuck Bonner at my basement. On the far end over there is the what do they call the sweet I can't even remember the name of that, but that's okay. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. That's the fan control switch. Okay? And basically with this system what I discover is wrong with it is I don't know if you can see the flame sensor over there which is this thing right here right it has to be straight it has to be clean not necessarily even clean because it doesn't really matter because once it gets hot it's hot like um, I got from e um, YouTube it's only just the metal with the sensor that's running when it heats up it sends signal onto the the main box which is down here to tell the box to okay go through the process of lighting it up okay um i spoke to a few people and they were telling me oh you need a new unit you need a new unit how old is the unit oh 20 years old you need a new one unfortunately we live in a society where this is a throwaway economy and the way these things were constructed they were constructed very nicely so i mean as you can see yes you do have some maybe fluid intrusion and things like that but what I did was I put a dielectric compound in some of the contacts as well, you know, and um, lo and behold, it's working properly. It's been working like this now for the past 24 hours. And this stuff right over here, like I said, that's the fan control switch, plays an important part. And um, what I realized that I had to do was... Um, Basically, it's just to clean the stuff out and, you know, do it the way you're supposed to do it. And usually, you don't really need a new unit. I mean, the knowledge of electronics or electrical components is very important because I wouldn't advise anybody who doesn't know what they're doing to do. You know, but basically, the technology on these things are very, very simple. And anybody with um, electronical background, you know, could actually do it. You know, if you're somebody who can do things and basically I was able to fix this and the problem I was having was the fact that it will come on it, it cuts off come on cuts off come on and cuts off and then this fan will stay on constantly the fire itself on the flame if I turn it off a little bit so you can see those flames over there right they will never stay on and the and the model the main model which is underneath here will never come on either so it's all fixed I don't want to name names, but I had a few tech, so much tech people that came to say they look at it and all of, all of them were telling me the same thing, oh you got to get a new one. And really it's not so much. That's my video. Bye.